students, today I am going to give a presentation on Bayer strain theory, which is a part of your alicyclic hydrocarbons of your first semester, first year chemistry. This Bayer strain theory is based on the experiments and the theories that was proposed by Lebel and Van Hoff. Bayer proposed certain very important postulates regarding the structures or the conformations of cycloalkanes for which he was awarded a Nobel Prize. His main uh, postulates are the rings, the cyclic compounds, so the cycloalkanes are flat, the planar, the first point. And the second assumption and the second postulates he proposed is it is very difficult to synthesize or to prepare higher cycloalkanes as they are uh, having some uh, angle strain uh, which are again uh, very difficult to synthesize. That was the, these are the few postulates he proposed and uh, I am going to explain uh, these uh, uh, postulates in detail taking few uh, models. That is what first uh, this uh, Bayer proposed is this is a, a simple molecule the tetrahedron this is nothing but a C methane molecule where you have the bond angles 109 degrees 28 minutes or roughly you may call it as 109.5. Here the bond angle between all the bonds are 109 degrees 28 minutes thereby they are well separated and they have very very less strain on this the, the, the strain you may call it as a torsion strain between these atoms. And uh, every molecule tries to attain this type of structure. When coming to the cycloalkanes, first I am going to explain the uh, cyclopropane, here the bond angle is uh, 60 degrees and the second molecule which I am going to explain is the uh, cyclobutane which, uh, whose bond angle is uh, 90 degrees and the fourth I am going to explain this cyclopentane, this bond angle is 108 degrees. Let us take up these things in detail uh, with regard to the uh, Bayer strain theory. Okay. To explain the Bayer strain theory, we need to understand four different type of uh, definitions which are you may call it as the factors that are affecting the stabilities of uh, conformers. The first one is the uh, angle strain as I uh, sh explained you the angle strain is due to the deviation from this 109 degrees 28 minutes. This is a tetrahedral molecule where you have the 109 degrees 28 minutes is a, a standard ideal bond angle here. And when coming to this uh, uh, cyclopropane here the bond angle is it is a planar molecule as uh, Bayer explained this is a planar molecule all the three carbon atoms are the one plane and here you can see the bond angle as 60 degrees. This is a, a deviation from the 109 degrees 28 minutes which is an ideal one. So, here uh, according to Bayer's this is the planar molecule it is okay and its bond angle is reduced from 109 degrees 28 minutes obviously it will have some sort of uh, angle strain. The second one which I am going to explain is the torsion strain. The torsion strain or uh, another one you may call it is a steric strain is due to the interactions between the bonded atoms. The nearby bonded atoms here the interaction is there these interactions will also uh, affect the stability of the cycloalkanes. Interval strain where these attractions the interactions and the repulsions between the neighboring atoms the non-bonded atoms is called as uh, the van der Waals uh, strain. And the fourth one I am going to explain is the uh, dipole uh, attractions or the dipole interactions is due to again the similar type of van der Waals forces, but it is some, some different uh, thing which uh, uh, always occurs in bonds like uh, hydrogen bonding and so on and so forth. Now, let us take up the uh, structures of uh, the cyclopropane here, the cyclopropane as I have explained and here as you can see in the uh, slide you can find the, uh, the torsional strain that is uh, present in the slide you can see the sp3 hybridized carbon atoms are the protons the hydrogens that are attached are having the interactions in between these uh, again some sort of eclipsed type of uh, interactions between and these causes uh, some sort of uh, strain is uh, is has just come out of the plane out of the axis and its bond angle is bit swollen as you can see in the slide and this is about the cyclopropane and now let us take up the cyclobutane. Here the cyclobutane also here you can see all the four 
uh, carbon atoms are in the same plane as the bears uh, explained the planar and then these atoms these proton these hydrogen atoms are having some sort of uh, repulsions in between as you can see in this uh, here its planar nature is bit distracted and its shape is bit strained like this some 25 degrees of uh, bond angle has present to avoid the the interactions these interactions between these atoms so its bond angle is 90 degrees and 25 approximately 25 degrees of uh, angle has come like this in the plane this is about the uh, cyclobutane and now let us take up the the five membered cyclic compound this is the five membered cyclic uh, ring as you can see it is a cyclopentane here its bond angle is 108 degrees and here just because of the angle strain this bond angle is changed from some sort of the fifth carbon atom moves like this and its structure is little bit enveloped type of all the four carbon atoms are on one plane and another carbon atom has just tilted like this and this way this is some sort of enveloped type of molecule here you can see in your monitor this is enveloped type of uh, structure okay students uh, the same the structure of cyclopropane i am going to explain some sort of a small animation where you can see the cyclopropane how the structures of the carbon the bond angle between the carbon carbon bond angle which is uh, around 60 degrees how these interactions the uh, actually the angle strain is there and how the interactions between these uh, ca pro carbon ca carbon and hydrogen and hydrogen and hydrogen interactions are there uh, students you can see this uh, cyclopropane the structure how it is rotating and how its bond angles are there how this uh, angle strain and the torsion strain that are present in the cyclopropane can be explained i have shown you in the mo molecular models the about the angle strain and then the torsion strain the same thing i am going to represent and explain with the help of a small animation here you can see the eclipsed the proton proton the hydrogen hydrogen uh, present in the cyclohexane uh, cyclopropane are having some sort of a torsion strain and then the angle strain these two st uh, strains put together to be called as uh, the ring strain that the ring strain that is present in the cyclopropane uh, students now i am going to determine the uh, the angle strain that is present in the cycloalkanes to determine the angle strain or the ring strain in total we have to determine the the deviation of uh, the regular angle from 180 degrees 28 minutes where you can see in this on the screen d is the deviation d is equal to half of 189 degrees 109.5 degrees minus alpha alpha is the bond angle that is present in the cycloalkanes as i said earlier 60 degrees for cyclopropane 90 degrees for cyclobutane and 108 degrees for the cyclo uh, pentane and 120 degrees for the uh, cyclohexane. There are the, these degrees, these bond angles are some are less than 109.5 degrees and some are above the uh, 109 degrees, uh, 109.5 degrees. Obviously, this is a deviation, whether it may be a positive deviation or a negative deviation. Let us determine the angle strain that is present in the all the molecules by taking all these things into account. I have summed up all these things. You can see on the uh, screens, I have calculated the the angle strain for all the uh, cycloalkanes up to cyclohexane that is one point there is another point that is to be remembered is the dihedral angle dihedral angle is the angle between the two planes that can be defined as the it is the angle between the planes through two sets of three atoms having two atoms in common for example if you take three atoms three atoms out of which two atoms are common you can see on the screen where the angle the dihedral angle between the two uh, bonds and I have calculated that also this also accounts a lot for calculating the angle strain all these things I have put forward uh, put it in a table where you can able to see that uh, ideal molecule which has got the 109 degrees 28 minutes where the torsional strength is uh, torsional strain is 0 will have a ring strain of 0. For example, when coming to the cyclopropane there you have 
the uh, ring strain up to uh, 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 an energy of uh, 150 kilo 15 kilojoules and then when coming to the cyclobutane it also has some uh, 110 kilojoules when coming to the cyclopropane it is having the cyclopentane it is having the lowest uh, uh, ring strain that is around 26 kilojoules whereas uh, cyclohexane just because of uh, two uh, factors uh, it is having the comfortable one angle due to the puckers nature and then the uh, other point is that torsion strain, strain is also very less, it is uh, uh, ring strain is uh, very less which is account for 0 kilojoules. And I have also calculated the same thing in terms of uh, uh, calculating the heat of combustion. Heat of combustion can be defined as the amount of heat evolved when one mole of substance is burned completely in presence of oxygen. That also can be calculated and that, that gives a direct or an indirect relationship with the angle strain also. You, you can see the I have written the, the general formula of the cyclo alkane the C n H 2 n uh, oxygen O n and we leave all the carbons are converted to carbon dioxide and hydrogens are converted to H 2 and you will uh, ultimately will get uh, heat. The heat is nothing but the heat of combustion uh, and I have uh, tried to show the all the uh, heat of combustion of uh, different type of cycloalkanes as you can see on the screen you can find the cyclo and I have calculated the, uh, the heat of combustion for the entire molecule. For example, if you take uh, cyclopropane there you will be having the 3 CH2 uh, groups, cyclobutane 4 CH2 groups, cyclopentane 5 CH2 groups and cyclohexane you will find 6 CH2 groups and I have calculated for as a whole and then I have divided for each carbon molecule, each carbon CH2 group and then you can see the, the angle strain that is uh, present for all the molecules where you will find the least for cyclopropane, cyclopentane and then the cyclohexane also uh, having the this uh, cyclo uh, that uh, ring strain. Basing on th all these points some sort of deviations are present in the Bayer strain theory which were overcome by an another theory known as Shaz and Mohr theory and uh, this, this explains certain very important points for explaining the stability of uh, higher cycloalkanes. As the definition says, the, I, I told you in the beginning itself, this, these are the de deriv der derivations from the uh, points which I have explained earlier. Valency deviation that is the deviation from the ideal one is not too large for cyclohexane. And another one the cyclopropane and cyclobutane have greater valency deviation hence it has got the ring strain. These are the uh, derivations from the previous data. And here you can see the Shaz and Mohr predictions and of course it was uh, 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 given some sort of information by Pritzker uh, also. What it explains is the stability of uh, cyclic systems having 6 or more carbon atoms this particular theory and according to this theory all the carbon atoms in cyclic molecules assume zigzag arrangement or you may call it as a puckered or the, uh, the deviation from the planar arrangement where we are going to explain in the next uh, presentation uh, by explaining the conformers of uh, cyclo uh, alkanes. And then the, since the carbon atoms lie in different planes that is the puckered nature the normal bond angle is retained and the rings are stainless. This is called the stainless theory of uh, cycloalkanes. Cyclic systems having 5 or lesser carb, uh, number of carbon atoms would be on one plane as said by uh, Bayer. So, uh, Shazmore theory explains the stability of higher cycloalkanes in terms of uh, stating that these strainless puckered ring structure of uh, these molecules. Uh, students, I am summing up the, the Bayer strain theory. Till now, we have explained the entire Bayer strain theory, its uh, postulates and in detail we have taken up the factors that influence the Bayer strain theory. That is nothing but the angle strain we have taken up and then the torsion strain, the Van der Waals uh, strain and then the fourth one we have discussed is the, uh, the uh, dipole dipole interaction. So, these are the four things I have explained to uh, understand the Bayer strain theory in detail. And after that, I have also explained the limitations of a Bayer strain theory and how these limitations are being overcome with the help of a Shazmore theory, which is supported by Pritzker and all. So, this particular theory will definitely uh, give some information related to the cycloalkanes and thereby if you have this knowledge properly, you can understand better the structures or the conformations of uh, the cycloalkanes in detail.